Hey, I've been asked a couple times if I can show a book in Raptorite from beginning to end like I've done in Novelcrafter and a couple others. And since I just finished a novel in Raptorite, let's go ahead and start a new one and show you beginning to end. So here is Raptorite, brand new blank project, nothing in it yet. So I'm going to change it to Sonnet because I prefer Sonnets. I am going to change my temperature down to 0.4 just because I prefer 0.4. I'm going to put a zero. There we go. The higher you go, the crazier the AI gets. I like between 0.4 and 0.7. The lower, the more closely it'll follow exactly what you want without a lot of variation. The higher you know, you might start getting spaceships in like your ancient Roman novel kind of thing. So it just gets a little crazy. It can be fun, but it can also be a little wild. You know, you might start getting a completely different language sometimes too. So that's your API key visual theme. I don't really change it off of anything. Project. This one's going to be the writing analysis. This is something that Steph showed in one of the Facebook groups. Steph is one of the creators of Raptorite. And if you're not in the future fiction Facebook group, you really should be if you're using Raptor just because there's a lot of troubleshooting help and a lot of tips in there. So what I'm going to be doing is something that she showed. And then I'm just changing this to writing analysis. No, that is not how you spell that. I'm going to toggle it on. Actually, I'm going to change it to writing style. And then over here, this is just a Word document where I've got this is what you're going to be doing. And you're just asking for a writing analysis, an in-depth writing analysis of a chapter that you're going to be giving it. It's a completely unrelated chapter. This book has nothing to do with the other book, but it's a good example of my writing style so that Claude can actually use it. And then I'm going to just paste it. Brackets whenever we're talking directly to the AI. And then I'll go over here. I have it on average. I'm going to change it to super max so that I can get as much information as possible in one go. Just hit continue. There we go. I like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and confirm mark text. And I'm gonna get rid of everything that is not the writing style analysis. Now we have an analysis of my writing style, and you can actually just keep this too if you want to. That's what I'm actually gonna do. I'm gonna grab it, I'm gonna toss it over here. That way you don't have to have it relook at your work every single time. And then that little bit costs about a penny. Completely worth it to not have to correct the AI that often. Will we still have to correct the AI? Absolutely, because it's the AI. It's not us. It doesn't have our skills. It doesn't have, you know our writing style, but it's pretty close, especially now that we did that. So I know that I'm going to want to write a sports college romance. So I'm going to go ahead and go in new documents. I'm just going to say outline. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'm going to say
There we go. Okay, and then just continue. It's cute, but not quite. <clears throat> not really what I like. So let's remove that. I'm going to make it spicier. hate the misunderstanding because I think people should just communicate and X's while sometimes work aren't great. And I don't really want them in this book. Okay, interesting. Do I want to have an epilogue though? There we go. That's cute enough. We'll keep that. Right, that works. Just hit continue.
Alright, that works. And characters. Okay, save that. There we go. New document. The order of these is the order that it will pull from. So keep that in mind if you have, say, 50 chapters, you don't need them all toggled on. I only keep the last two chapters toggled. If they're toggled, then the AI will access them. If they're not toggled, they won't. This outline and characters is pretty much just like your codex if you're coming from Novel Crafter. I'm going to add one more thing here. Okay, there we go. Character outline, characters, locations. Okay, so all of that is set. One. I'm going to do a quick check over here, see how much we've spent so far. Pennies, pennies is fine. Now I have this as chapter one and just saying, hey, please start this. I'm going to see if it needs more information or if it's going to just start so it should just start Mia's POV. She arrives at the college. I'm actually going to move this higher. So let's see what it does. Now, I normally write in past tense. It has started in present, so... Hmm. Do I like this? Do I not like this? I will leave this for now. Am I going to leave it? Or am I gonna get rid of it? There we go. Updated that. OK. 
Get rid of that. There we go. I could have left it, but really, I don't write in anything but past. And reading something that's not in past just feels weird. Okay, and it's still going. Most of this is absolutely fine, and I'm going to keep it. That's why I have it on the longest possible output that there is. Are you all done? Good. I always recommend that you save it somewhere else. No matter what program you're in, I recommend saving it somewhere else. Paste. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. Two. And let's see how much that chapter cost. About five cents. The original one was four cents that I got rid of. The one that I kept is five cents. Just let it do its thing. Now, if I was using a less reliable AI, and if I hadn't already put in my writing style, I would definitely be going over this faster. And, you know, I'm just doing a quick once over before accepting it. However, it's in my writing style. It's a good AI that I know is going to give me some decent output that I can just edit later. All right, so we're good there. Quick look over. Oh, that's cute. This stuff at the very end, I'm getting rid of just because the foreshadowing is annoying. Go ahead, accept it. Chapter 
Jake. And then you will want to get rid of anything like that. Also like this. But the easy thing is that you're going to just be able to find the brackets. And you'll do all of this in edits. So. Check one, check two, three, this is Mia, four, Jake, ah, no. Five, Mia, six, Jake. All right, what is going on? Stop. Alright, let's look at the outline. So we should be at soccer tryouts right now. Move this up. Three. Alright, so of course there's edits, but overall I'm happy with it. Now, if you're noticing, I took off the whole make it in past tense because the writing style has it in past tense. These chapters are all in past tense. I'm going to see if it just automatically does past tense or if it needs to be reminded of past tense.
I'm going to check something really quick over here. Yeah. So we're going to have to fix that all in edits. Is I don't like starting days and ending days. I don't like starting days with the sunrise and ending days as sunset kind of thing. But that's definitely a thing in edits. And as you can see, 3.5 is pricey. It definitely is. Compared to Cohere, absolutely. Did a little kiss on the cheek moment. Cute. All right. Get rid of chapter two. I'm just going to move these up. You don't have to because these are toggled off, but I like to have what I'm currently working on up at the top. So we're on chapter five. Can we just have Jake's point of view? Yeah. Let me take a look at them here. Okay, so it decided that it's going to go a little wonky. No. I'm going to turn off Chapter 3 as well. I'm going to move this down. I'm going to give it another chance before I decide to give it more information up here. Nope. Let's see here. I'm not having two Jake chapters back to back. I'm going to let it finish. Nope. There we go. Let's try again.
he definitely edits are needed, but oh, but it's fine. It is a good place to be starting. That uh, is chapter five, chapter six. We're back to Jake. Where are we at right now? Six cents, seven cents. So each chapter is about, we'll say it's under seven cents, but we're going to average about six cents. Not terrible. Chapter six. I'm going to go ahead and pull that down. I'm going to pull up six. And then this is the last one that I'm going to show for right now. So we've been doing this about half an hour. We're going to have to rename this because no college is called State University. Poor kid. Mm -hmm. Cute. Okay. Throw that here. So, not including the writing analysis, we'll say about 2,000 words there. About 13K in half an hour. Most of it's completely usable. And then, let's do a quick little bit of math. So, Yeah, it doesn't have the fourth yet. Never mind. Okay, so quick math. So we did six chapters. Plus some writing analysis, the outline, the characters, the locations. I'm going to just say eight chapters, roughly. At averaging six cents. We've done about 50 cents worth of stuff. 48 cents. So, am I happy with that? Absolutely. And 3.5 is nice. Definitely not the cheapest, but it is nice. The things I'm going to be editing are any kind of consistency issues where, you know, consistency, continuity, where they met, but then they're meeting for the first time. Those kind of things will have to be edited out. This whole waking up at the start of each chapter is going to go. But it's not a bad little start to the book.
under 50 cents in about half an hour. And yeah, it's a cute little sports romance. Do I know anything about football or soccer? Really not. But with AI, you really don't have to know that much. You have to know enough that, you know, like if there was suddenly a horse in the game, you'd be like, mm, maybe that's not quite it. You know, if there's a spaceship that lands in the soccer game, mm, I don't think it's supposed to be there. But maybe in your book it is. So next video, we will finish this out. How many chapters are supposed to be in this actually? Okay, so we're about halfway done. Very nice stopping place actually. Yeah. Chapter 6, he's got an injury. We are right there. Soccer tournaments. Introducing me to the teammates. Difficult professor. Aw, they're going to get away for the weekend. Cute. Alright, thank you so much for watching.